And it's not, I don't really think it's their fault because it's there. It's so easy to get. It's hard to find that break, okay? So step back away from it would be my advice. Sit down with your spouse, your partner, a friend, and write out a plan and say, this is what we're gonna do. Count the console out of his room. We're gonna put it in the living room. We're gonna take devices out of the room during homework. It's gonna set your plan in place and enforce it. Now, here's what's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm laughing, but she said that they're gonna be in denial. So they're gonna say, no, you're not. And you're gonna say, yeah, we are. We have already done it, okay? And then they're gonna get angry, right? And then they're gonna bargain with you. Oh, I promise I'll only do it a half an hour a day. Right, a half an hour a day, I won't do it anymore, right? And then what happens? They get depressed. And this is really, don't cave. Okay, don't cave. And then lastly, they accept. And they will. They will. Because they will relish in that personal connection that they've lost. Because when you really talk to them, they want it. They really do want it. Our kids, many of our kids are as concerned about this issue that we're talking about tonight as we are. They know it. They know it in here. Uh, two films that I would really recommend, The Social Dilemma and Disconnect. Okay, Disconnect is more of a drama. It's a longer film, but it is very poignant and it is, it is, it'll change your view on things. It'll really, really reach, it'll touch you. Social Dilemma is more of a documentary. Okay, so I recommend those two films to kind of